Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the 35th Global World Tournament is going to be starting in about a day and a half, which for a lot of people is New Year's Day. Now I know, this is definitely not the best way to start your new year. I mean, you don't want to start with literally one of the worst events in the entire game, or at least one of the most boring events that this game has to offer. Now, unfortunately, if you want all of the rewards, like the Dragonstones, the Kais, Hercule statues, uh, tickets, awakening medals, new units, and all that good stuff, then it's just something we gotta do, okay? So in today's video, I wanna give you guys a quick preview of everything that we can expect from this upcoming tournament to get you guys fully prepared. And with all that said, let's just jump right into it. As you guys can see, this tournament is gonna run from tomorrow, December 31st at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until January 3rd at 9.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now this time for people on the East Coast, it's gonna be 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 1st. Of course, we also have a new World Tournament Reward Unit, which is the AGL Kit Gohan, and two Dokkan Awakenings for older units, AGL Vegito, and uh, STR Android 8. We are gonna be covering their details in a second, but before we do that, let's uh, check out these ranking rewards. Now, I'm gonna assume that most people watching this video won't be in the top 1,000. I mean, it's not that I don't trust you guys or don't believe in you, I do, but it's just really, really hard to place in the top 1,000. So I feel like the second tab here 1,001 to 5,000, or sorry, 50,000 is uh, a lot more realistic for most people. But with that said, let's uh, quickly check these out first. So for uh, rank number one, if you are number one in the entire world for this tournament, you get 15 copies of the Gohan, 15 gold guaranteed SSR tickets, 15 of the world tournament tickets, 15 Elder Kais, five diamond Hercule statues, one of each of the Grand Kais, and a crap ton of potential orbs, and uh, also some awakening medals, training items, and friend points. And as you go along, the lower you rank of course, the worse your rewards, but I would say anything in the top 100 is amazing, like for example, right here, 71 to 100, you're still getting 8 copies of the Gohan, you're still getting 5 Elder Kais, that's still a lot of orbs and uh, the other stuff, and then if you're getting top 1000, still some orbs, five copies of the Gohan and uh, you know some other good stuff. Now let's pop over to like I said the more realistic tab which is 1001 to 50,000 and at 1001 to 2000 you're still getting four copies of the Gohan. If you add that to the one copy you get from missions then that's five copies enough to still rainbow the kid Gohan if you want to and uh, I think this is actually going to be much easier to achieve so if you really want to rainbow the Kid Gohan as quickly as possible, then just aim for top 2,000 and you should be good to go. And uh, between 2001 to 5,000, it's three copies plus three other Kais. No orbs, by the way. If you guys really want the orbs, you do have to be in the top 1,000. And uh, between 5,001 to 10,000, two copies of Gohan. And between 10,001 to 20,000, one copy of Gohan. And this is the lowest you're allowed to rank you know, if you want to get that extra copy, because, you know, below that, 20,000, 50,000, no Gohans, just a couple of silver guaranteed SSR tickets, world tournament tickets, two Elder Kais, and uh, the other stuff like the training items and stuff like that. And if you go even below that, you're still going to be getting rewards. It's just worse and worse and worse. I guess the good thing is that no matter how badly you do, as long as you participate in the world tournament in some capacity, you will be getting something once the tournament is over, right? Because like in the top 1 million, you're still getting one silver guaranteed SSR ticket, two world tournament tickets, a couple of SR Hercule statues, training items. And these ones are actually pretty useful because like a lot of people, when they run out of medals, it's usually uh, this one right here or this one right here. So it's still something, it's still something. Okay, now let's check out the uh, local ranking rewards. And of course, your local ranking is based off a grouping of uh, random people. I mean, some people think that it's like actual people in your local area, but as far as I've heard, that's actually 
not true. It's literally just a random group of people that play Dokkan that you're thrown into. And if you get number one among those people, then you get two copies of the LR Demon King Piccolo, 50 of the Masters Mark Awakening Medals, three of the World Tournament Tickets, uh, seven Dragon Stones, one Diamond Hercule Statue, and some Senzu Beans and Friend Points. And then second and third, get three stones plus one copy. Fourth to tenth, one copy of the LR, one stone, and the other stuff. And as you go along, you're still going to be getting at least one copy of the Demon King Piccolo up until 100 and 50th. So if you try even a little bit, even a little bit, you should at least get that one copy of the LR. And uh, as far as the missions go, of course, standard missions, nothing, you know, changes. There are missions for total number of wins up to 20 wins. And over here you can get, uh, let's see, five dragon stones up to five wins right here. And then for the tier missions, which is basically just like um, different tiers you get into as you progress through the tournament and I think at 5 million points you reach the highest tier so it's really not that hard to clear all of these and through the tiers you're getting 1, 2, and 10 here so 12 dragon cells in total for reaching the Beerus tier and we also have the total number of score no, uh, total score missions between 10,000 and a maximum of 30 million. So you'll max out at 30 million as far as the missions go. And uh, you know, you're getting some Kai's, you're getting one copy, one guaranteed copy of the World Tournament Reward Unit, which in this case is the AGL Kid Gohan at 23 million points. And uh, of course, some Dragon Stones along the way, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 souls in total from the score missions. And uh, we also have the uh, consecutive wins, so wins in a row missions, right? Up to 20 once again. And for these, we're getting five, six, seven, eight dragon stones, as well as a Hercule statue, or sorry, uh, Elder Kai, and some tickets as well. And finally, there are a few extra missions. We have a daily mission that gives us uh, Actually, a couple of daily missions, my bad. So, three daily missions. The first one is for one, um, you know, full run, one win for one stone. Two wins gives you another stone. And then three wins gives you three stones. So, if you repeat these every day, that's three extra stones. And then there's another one for advancing to the semifinals for the first time. All right. So, once it's all said and done, if you do everything along with the daily missions every day, then you should be able to get up to... 50-ish dragon stones. I mean, of course, it depends on where you rank locally, but on average, you're expecting about 50 stones for clearing all the missions in this world tournament. Okay, and now let's pop over to the details for the Vegito Awakening, for the Android 8 Awakening, and also the AGL Kid Gohan. Starting with Vegito, his new leader skill is going to be AGL Type Key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 70%, Super Attack, causes supreme damage and raises allies attack by 25% for one turn. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120%. He plus two plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% and great chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack as the first attacker in a turn. And then super class allies attack and defense plus 30%. So that is obviously a really crazy passive. Part of the reason why these units get such crazy passives is because their stats are quite a bit lower than your average summonable unit, right? Like this Vegito, when maxed out, only has 10,834 attack, 10,982 HP, and 8,675 defense, which is not too bad, but this attack stat is definitely quite low. But still, he's getting, uh, let's see, 120 here, 120 here, and 30 here. So that's 270% attack and defense and of course he's supporting the rotation right here and also a great chance to evade enemies attacks which is 70 percent so yeah this awakening is amazing if you guys have been struggling with any of the super battle roads where he's applicable then give him a shot once you awaken him because he should help you a lot and uh, his links are saying warrior race saying lineage prepare for battle power bestowed by god feud fighter brainiacs and shattering the limit and categories are majin Buu saga patara final trump card and battle of wits so that's vegito moving on to the uh, uh android 8 or hachan right here leader scales str types key plus 2 hp attack and defense plus 70 percent 
super attack supreme damage and lowers attack and defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is attack plus 150%, guards all attacks for 3 turns after receiving an attack, reduces damage received by 8% with each attack received up to 40%, attack and defense plus 120% when there is a Goku's family category ally on the team another you know crazy passive right there once again his stats not the highest especially his defense even when rainbowed it's only 6700 attack a little bit better 11,534 and uh hp is 10,635 but the thing with him is that his attack boost is calculated separately so he's resulting in a total boost of 450 percent attack when both conditions are met so that is Android 8. Oh, his links are Infighter, Tough as Nails, Guidance to Dragon Balls, Incredible Adventure, Android Assault, Gentlemen, and Shattering. The limits and categories are Androids, DB Saga, and Exploding Rage. And finally, we're going to check out the Get Gohan, the new World Tournament Reward. His leader skill is Super AGL Types Q plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 70%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage, and Lowers Attack. And passive is attack and defense plus 60%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% at the start of each turn, up to 80%, and key plus 2 when Piccolo is on the team. Attacks effective against all types when your team has Piccolo attacking in the same turn, and attack and defense plus 15% with each attack received, up to 60%. So if you have a Piccolo, you know, with this Gohan, and he's amazing. He's really, really good. I just don't love the fact that he's so limited to only teams where you can run him and Piccolo, which is basically um, Bond of Master and Disciple and uh, I guess Super AGL with the easy A Piccolo, right? So, you know, in the right condition, very good unit. And he's not even awakened. So once he gets that Doken Awakening, he's probably going to have a pretty insane passive. But for now, a solid unit, definitely something you or a unit that you want in your collection. And, uh, oh, links, Innocence, uh, Infighter, Demonic Ways, Saiyan Warrior Race, Gaze of Respect, and All in the Family. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, and Bond of Master and Disciple. And uh, his maximum boost from his passive, because of the way it's calculated, is actually 284% attack and defense when all conditions are met. So there you go, that is the Gohan. There is the Android 8. And there is the HL Vegito Awakening. And that is pretty much all you gotta know about this upcoming world tournament. Of course, your boy Tiger will be streaming for probably three days in a row when the tournament starts. Um, it's gonna suck, but with you guys being there, with us doing it together, it should be a lot less painful than you know it has to be. And uh, I look forward to it. Uh, if I don't see you guys before you know, we go into the new year, then happy new year. And uh, that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.